Welcome to Balancing a Gimbal, featuring my old ass Nikon D70. I'm going to be using a Zoom Crane 2 to show you basic balancing techniques. There are many newer gimbals on the market, but balancing them are all very similar. Now, I've had this gimbal for over two years now, and it works great. And if you're in the market for a slightly used Crane 2 gimbal, leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, there are four adjustments to balancing a gimbal. You pretty much do these adjustments all in this order, sometimes jumping back an adjustment to make slight changes as needed. First, the camera plate forward and back adjustment. You can see that I'm holding the rear gimbal motor, stopping it from moving and letting only the side gimbal move, which is what is affected by the camera plate forward and back adjustment. Bring your camera forward and backwards until it is level horizontally, not falling forward or back. A small note here. If you have a zoom lens like a 24 to 70 that has a telescoping element, it will tilt forward or back depending on what zoom you're at when you're filming. I suggest balancing the gimbal for the middle of the lens. For example, somewhere around a 50 millimeter for a 24 to 70. The second adjustment has to do with the rear gimbal, which levels the roll axis of the gimbal. Slide this to the left or right, making your camera as level as possible. Again, making small adjustments until it falls level. Go back and make adjustments to the camera plate as needed to make the pitch and roll of your gimbal fall naturally level. Third is the side gimbal adjustment. This is the gimbal motor that's to the right of the camera. This levels a part of the pitch axis or forward and back. The goal with this adjustment is to make the center of gravity of the camera align with the side gimbal motor. You're either going to raise or lower your camera as needed to make this adjustment. You will know when this adjustment is correct when you can place the camera in any direction tilt-wise and it stays. At this point, you're about 90% there when it comes to balancing. Let's test it. While keeping the gimbal powered off and on the table or flat surface, you should be able to place your camera in any direction and it should remain still and not fall in any way. Once this is possible and you have achieved perfect balance with the first three adjustments, move on to the fourth adjustment. Now let's adjust the bottom gimbal motor. This helps level out the top two gimbals when holding the gimbal at 45 degrees. To adjust this, you have to hold your gimbal at a 45 degree angle. What you're trying to achieve here is the same balance you had with the first three adjustments when it was sitting on the table. You should be able to place your camera in any direction and it stays perfectly still. All right, your gimbal is now balanced and you're ready to film. In summary, you're trying to get the camera perfectly balanced on all four of these adjustments to limit the amount of weight or resistance the gimbal motors have on them from the camera. This makes it easier for the motors to keep the camera steady. Having this perfect balance reduces possible shaking of the gimbal motors and helps prevent faster battery depletion. All right, thanks for watching this video today. If you got a little extra time on your hands, give us a like, a comment, and share this video with a friend. This has been another video by Make Media Studios. I'm Derek May, and we are out. Wait, stop, look, there's more things that you can still do. If you minimize whatever video you're currently watching of mine, and you scroll down a little bit, there's gonna be this red subscribe button. You know what you do? You click it. Just check this out, ready, watch. It's it, crazy. It goes from red to gray. Right? Blew my mind. I want you to check to see if yours goes from red to gray. Tell me in the comments below if it did or not. Other than that, you have a great day sitting at home or whatever you're doing at work or in the car. If you're driving, put down the phone and look at the road. But other than that, thanks. Have a good day.